Hello everyone, my topic is approaches to curriculum development. So let's start. So it is very important. What is curriculum? The term curriculum refers to the lesson and the academic content taught in a school or in the specific course or program. An individual teacher's curriculum, for example, would be the specific learning standards, lessons, assignments and the material used to organize and teach a particular course. Curriculum is a framework that sets expectations for student learning. It serves as a guide for teachers, a roadmap, if you will, that establishes standards for the student performance and the teacher accountability. Now, the curriculum development. The curriculum development is designed as planned, a purposeful, progressive and systematic process to create positive improvements in the educational system. Every time there are changes and developments happening around the world, the school activities are affected because the curriculum development is the process of selecting, organizing and evaluating the learning experience on the basis of the needs, abilities and the interests of learners and on the basis of the nature of the society and community. Now let's talk about the approach. Now let's talk about what is an approach. An approach is the way of dealing of something, a way of doing and thinking about something. Basically, an approach is the way of looking at the teaching and the learning. Underline any language teaching approach is the view of what language is and of how it can be learned. An approach gives rise to methods, the way of teaching something which use classroom activities or techniques to help learners learn. So, approaches to curriculum development is divided into the four different aspects that it is analysis, design, selecting and formation. So, let's talk about what an analysis is. Analysis is the need and the task. And the design is objective design. That what we have planned and analysis in the first step, it is very important to design and the form and to frame that task correctly. Selecting. Selecting is the choosing the appropriate learning. Selecting is the choosing uh, appropriate methods or a simple way that helps to achieve our targets and goals. Formation. Formation is basically the curriculum implementation committee. Curriculum evaluation committee. Now let's talk about what is the curriculum development model. As you can see that this model is divided into the four different points that is planning, content and method, evaluation and implementation. And you can see the main focus and the middle of this model is youth. So the first more important thing is we should know what is the youth and what is the role of youth in the development model. So youth is the time when one is young and it also means the time between the childhood and adulthood. So let's talk about first what is the planning is. Planning is something that how to do what to do. That identify the issue from the curriculum development team and conduct the need and assessment and analysis. So after planning, then we should know that what methods and what is a suitable thing we should use after the planning. So that is the most important is the state intended outcomes. Select the content and the design, the experimental methods. After that, it is very important to evaluate. After planning, as you can see, there is methods that the planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling. So as the same, it is given here the evaluation. Evaluation is something the design strategies. Design strategies is the different methods as given here the formative assessment and summative assessment and reporting and securing resources. Implementation is something that after planning, organizing the content methods, evaluation, implementation is what is the suitable and what should be planned. So it may be come 
comes under the the term that we used here that is implement curriculum so it helps us produce the curriculum product test revise curriculum recruit and the train facilitators and implement curriculum so now the question comes in our mind that what is the role and the importance of curriculum development model curriculum daily to a lesson plan unit plan and yearly plan we make a curriculum for the lesson units and the for the any culture unit or in the school events and any other events in the hard skill the teacher addresses the goal need and interest of learner by creating experience from where the students can learn teacher design and modify the curriculum to suit the learner characteristics now let's talk about the approaches of curriculum development so let's talk about the student centered the student centered curriculum design and resolves around a particular subject matter or a discipline for example a subject centered curriculum may focus on maths and biology this type of curriculum design tends to focus on a subject rather than individual now let's talk about the learner centered student centered learning also known as the learner centered education it is a method of teaching that shifts the focus of instruction from the teacher to student student centered instruction focuses on skill and practices the lifelong learning and the independent problem solving Now let's talk about what is problem solving. Problem solving is the act of designing a problem and determining the cause of the problem, identifying, selecting the alternative solutions and implementing a new solution. Now, conclusion. Curriculum development is a long and a dynamic process. Yes, a curriculum is the combination of the practices, learning, experience, and the student performance assessment that are designed to bring out and evaluate the target learning outcomes of the particular course. And the curriculum review or the change is supported by the research findings and observation. Yes. as applied to education curriculum is the series of things that student must do and experience by the way of developing abilities to do the things well it takes on both the involvement and the participation yes the curriculum includes everything that takes place and everything that does not take place within the schools the curriculum is basically that the framework that It gives the sets of expectation for the student learning itself as a guide for the teacher and the roadmap. So, a selection of information into the discipline and the courses, typically designed to achieve at the specific educational objectives. So, this is all. Thank you and have a good day.